Now, one thing I keep getting asked over and over again, Nick, what are the scores on the doors when it comes to good cop, bad cop for the Cozy 6 heat pump? Well, today's video, we're going to be diving into November's figures. Now, one important thing to mention is COP. What is COP? Well, it's the efficiency score of a heat pump. Many people refer to heat pumps being 400, 500, 600% efficient and a gas boiler being 90% efficient. If we just translate that percentage of efficiency into COP, that is 4, 5, or 6% of COP, so 6 being 600%, and a boiler is 9% efficient, so that's 0 0.9 COP. So the higher the COP number, the higher the number, the higher the efficiency and the less gas or electricity your system will use. Now, one thing to remember is COP isn't actually price your pay. It gets way more complicated when you start using electricity and not gas. If you're talking about COP in a gas boiler industry, yes, the COP is the price you pay because gas is a fixed price 24 hours, seven days a week, unless you're on some sort of special octopus deal that changes daily. But effectively, the gas you used in a day is fixed. However, with a heat pump, your electricity can vary massively and you can change your, your COP to be worse than it actually is but pay less. And what I mean by this, for example, Octopus in this month of November's figures ran a two hour free power hour. So all the energy you consumed in that two hour period was free. So you can manipulate the key pump by running hot water at 60 Celsius, charging that hot water up nice and hot. So you've got lots of hot water stored in your tank, but also running your heating super hot, driving it as hard as you can for that for the other hour that it's not heating the hot water to pump that heat into the house. Uh, because effectively, the cop will drop massively running at 60 Celsius and also running the heat pump when the house is already warm and just basically cycling it up. But when you're getting free energy, what the COP is, is irrelevant because it's cost you nothing. Another thing that can affect COP is how long the heat pump is running. So heat pumps like to run continuously for as long as possible. That will get you the best COP because the water in the flow and return of your heating system is always kept within a similar temperature and isn't heating up from a cold store. So that helps build up the COP. Also, when the compressor first turns on, it will use a lot more power actually turning on, bit, booting everything up, getting everything ready. That will use a lot more power. And also, if it's raising the temperature by several degrees, maybe five or six Celsius, the heat pump will run harder to bring the temperature up quicker because it's trying to hit a, a gap that's dropped, what it thinks is dropping radically. So it might run at a higher weather compensation to try and beat the, the temperature difference of what it's trying to achieve. So running it continuously can result in better COP. But as I mentioned before, COP isn't always what you pay. So for example, if you're on Octopus Cozy, you get 12p from certain hours of the day. And between four and seven, you're paying a lot more than 12p. So what you might wanna do is run the heat pump very hard just before four o'clock, get it really warm in your house to store in your home, insulated home, store that heat in, turn off between four and seven, and then reheat later. This will perform worse COP, but even if you were getting 2.5 COP, which is awful, that's an awful COP, but even if you're getting 2.5 COP, at 12p a kilowatt hour of electricity, that means it's still costing you less than gas because it's going to be costing you about 4.8 kilowatt hours of heat. And remember, gas boilers are only 90% efficient, so gas boilers are even more expensive than 4.8 kilowatt hours of heat. Now, I'm currently not on Octopus Cozy. I'm on Octopus Go Intelligent, which is a tariff from Octopus Energy that allows you to use your electric car, charge up batteries, and I also use the heat pump. Now, you can sign up to Octopus Energy at evnic.com forward slash energy. There's a £50 code there when you switch over. And if you're thinking of getting a heat pump, you can use the £50 switch to Octopus, plus you get a £100 if you want a heat pump of Octopus. Even if you're already existing Octopus customer, you can still use the £100 referral for the heat pump install. So remember that, they're both on evnic.com forward slash energy but let's forget about that we're going to be doing a video on what the best tariff is if you go to intelligent if you go to cozy what the difference is how i've got solar and battery and that makes a huge difference to the price and if you have solar and battery but the most important thing is 
what was the performance in November? Well, the November's performance was worse than October, but it was colder. And again, there was a free power hour, so I kind of abused it. And we'll get to the cost in a second. But I achieved a cop of 3.10. So 3.10 isn't exactly world leading in cop, but remember, the install from Octopus for me was £1,350 installed. November's been cold and we're looking at averages of a heat pump and I've only just got it installed late September. So the data is obviously going to change radically as we get towards the warmer months. And it has been, again, as I mentioned, a cold November. We've even had a little bit of snow. Now, the heat pump warms itself in my house to 20C, 90% of all the rooms and 10% of my other rooms are about 21C. So I'm having the, the house warmer than a lot of people would. Um, it's on pretty much 24 seven. My wife's at home on maternity leave at the moment and basically she wants the house warm. She's here at home all day with a kid and that has actually performed better than I thought it would if I was in a gas boiler. I would have been costing myself a small fortune during the winter having the heating on all the time. I remember when I had my first little lad and the heating bill was atrocious. Now, with hot water, that has also been a bit different. So we range roughly from 45 uh, Celsius, 90% of the time, and then occasionally we push it up to 60 Celsius and sometimes we have some 55 Celsius. So that would absolutely change what the COP is depending on where we are with the hot water. The hot water makes the largest difference to what the overall monthly COP is more than having the heating on all the time, believe it or not. But the most important question is, what did it cost? Now remember my November bill, I have an electric vehicle, I have solar, I have battery, and the heat pump running. Now, when I had a gas boiler, the heating in my house was about four pound a day in gas. So my gas boiler used about four pound a day, and now I've moved over fully electric, I've got an induction harbor, etc. And I have to equate for all that difference now in my electricity bill. But essentially, gas central heating would have cost four pound a day. So how much did it cost me to run the heat pump, electric car and induction hob in my fully now electric home? Well, the bill came in at £95 after solar export, after taking off the £5 free of two hours of free electricity. £95 is just around about £3 a day in electricity. My average unit rate was 11p a kilowatt hour and my heat pump used 438 kilowatt hours of electricity, meaning it cost me £48.18 to run for the entire month. And remember, I said I had solar and a battery. If you're interested in getting a solar or battery, check out this video here. And if you want to see how my Cozy 6 got installed, check out this video here.